Alright, uh, welcome back. This is uh, Valentari of PowerUpsNotIncluded.com. We are playing the Blackwell Legacy, and uh, we have just finished slogging through 25 pages of letters about our uh, slowly, mentally degrading family uh, history. And uh, there were some pictures in the, uh, in the envelope, which we're going to look at. And then uh, we'll take a look and see what else there is to do in this apartment. Or not. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. Well, that's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too, and hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter, sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. No. I used to talk to this picture when I was a little girl, but not anymore. When I was a little girl, I'd try to talk to my younger self in this picture. I was trying to give myself advice about the future. It didn't work then, and I doubt it would work now. I also tried to give myself some skincare advice about these purple dots all over my face. I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. Cook? Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? Oh, Rose, you are so much like me. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. I'm not ready for bed. I don't need to take the trash out. They're fine where they are. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to... Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. Um... There's nobody home. Hmm? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell, with the Village Eye. Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? 
Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Joanne? What was she like? I never hung out with her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. This guy is awfully evasive. If this were uh, L.A. Noir, I'd accuse him of it right now. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Yeah, most of the college kids stuff's probably stolen anyway. There's nobody home. There's no. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. Yeah? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye. The newspaper. I've never heard of it. It doesn't matter. Well, what do you want then? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? You don't care? Not even a little bit? No, I don't. Why the hell should I? If that matter, why should you? Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Look, just tell me a little bit about Joanne and I'll leave. Please. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever.
Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day and nothing else. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. There's nobody home. I think I have more things I can talk to the RA about now. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. And why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my... Time to go ask Kelly where she's been staying. Yeah? So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You've been following me or something? No, no. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Nope, no photographs of Joanne online. That's not something I can look up. <laughs> That's not something. That's not. No. Nope. No. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it. <sighs> I am just feel maybe tomorrow, but today it's just not. All right. Well, on that note, I am going to uh, call it for this uh, segment here. Again, for PowerUpsNotIncluded.com, I am Valentari, and this is Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy with really loud music.